Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we are looking at my portfolio. It's that time again where we look at the portfolio, where we look at buy, sales, the plan for the future, look at the rental property update, um, dividend income that we received this month, everything. And like I've always said to you, I've started this, you know, this YouTube thing so I can share my journey, so I can actually learn in the process and you can help me, I can help you, whatever. Okay, like I've always, I've always tried to answer your questions. I've always tried to help you as much as I can. I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm just sharing my journey. Okay, and that's ex exactly what I'm doing today. Again, some of you are sitting there probably thinking um, I'm bragging about things, but genuinely I am not. Like every penny that I have put into this portfolio or the property, or whatever, I work for it. I have a full time job. Alhamdulillah, that pays me well enough to actually save some of it. Okay, my wife and I have actually very frugal about things. And Alhamdulillah, so far we're managing, when I say frugal, we have a good life, but at the same time we have a balanced life, okay? So yeah, we've got two small children, so Alhamdulillah, everything you see here right now, genuinely, is the money that I actually worked hard for. No one actually gave me this money, um, so Alhamdulillah, it's, let's see how it goes, well, but I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep sharing my journey as long as you basically guys would like me to. I would love for you guys to just give the videos a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because it really, really genuinely helps the channel, okay? The more people see these things, the more people we can help. And if you have any questions, as always, just write it down and I will try to answer them the best, the best I can, okay? Right, so let's have a look at the portfolio. It's currently 52,000, so it's been all right last couple of days, okay? I have, you know, 52,600, not bad at all. It's been up and down, up and down every single week. So if you look at the last three months, you can see, look at that. Up, down, up, down, up, down. But in the, all, in the long run, okay, it's heading the right, basically right direction, which is up. Right now, it's up 8% of, four, you know, 4,000 pounds. 4,000 pounds is a lot of money, okay? And now some of you probably have a portfolio that are down at the moment, okay? And inshallah, I just hold it in there. Because honestly, the other day, um, I think it was about two weeks ago, a week ago, it w went down below 900 in terms of the overall uh, returns, okay? Unrealized gains were about $900. So Alhamdulillah, it's doing okay so far. Again, I have the same 29 holdings. I haven't actually added any new companies. The last one that we added to the portfolio was SPGI. But before we do all of these things, let's have a look at any buys. Just the overall dashboard for the portfolio. As you can see, the dividends is $90 pounds per um, month. So that's what I'm expecting. Everything is heading in the right directions. Alhamdulillah, so far in terms of I haven't added any new sectors. I think financials were already there the last time we did the video. I can't remember. But let's have a quickly jump in into the buys and sells. Before we do the buys, we will do the sells. And I've done a video on Stanley Black & Decker and Pfizer and why I sold completely out of Black & Decker. So just check that out. I think I called it I made a mistake or something like that. Um, Pfizer. I'm trimming it down a little bit because of the expectations. Right now, this market is absolutely ruthless, okay? And one of the things that's happening is Pfizer is a great company, okay? They have um, the next basically five years, the growth expectation is just minus 0 0.80. Now, for that reason, the price is right now, in my opinion, a little bit overvalued. If it goes down, if basically one of the earnings in the next couple of quarters or next year, basically, is not what the analysts are expecting, this company will be down 10, 20 percent or whatever. Okay, because that's what's happened so far. And when that happens, I don't want to lose a lot of money. So I'm taking some profit off the table. Okay, at the same time, I absolutely love the business. Okay. I would love to buy it back, probably about if it goes between about 45, 46, 47 kind of thing, okay? Um, basically, 48 is what Morningstar is expecting. Simply Wall Street is a little bit crazy, but 59, 59 for tip ranks and Yahoo Finance, okay? Um, so, yeah, there's a, it's a great company, and really, like, in terms of dividends, financials is good. They have free cash flow of 31 billion, almost 32 billion dollars in the bank, okay? So, I'm basically selling it now. I've got a little bit left. It's still in my portfolio. I might sell that out completely and wait for another opportunity for it to drop down. And because my concern is if this happens and the 
the earnings is not growing and we get to a negative earnings or whatever it is then we are in trouble okay that's the, my main concern although this company is really good they have a lot of products on the pipeline coming up i'm a little bit concerned okay i might just take a little bit of profit off the table for now and then see what happens right we bought two shares five shares of vf corporations okay that added about seven pounds to the portfolio we bought two home depot shares it added about 11 pounds 42 um, pence there okay um commons basically about 1.7 shares again that added about almost seven pounds in there colgate 1.4 um one dollars and eight one pound and eighty four you um ups i'm still buying i'm gonna get to at least 10 to 15 shares i'm thinking that right now about own about 8.6 shares or something like that one i bought 1.78 recently when it went down and then that added about almost seven pounds and 53 pence and then unilever three shares okay that added about four pounds there spgi i now own two shares okay and that is basically actually that should be two shares um let me change that that is two shares and that adds about 11 pounds to the portfolio qualcomm i bought five shares i've done a video recently uh, between qualcomm i think it was broadcom as well so five down i bought five pounds um, five um, shares on that today and metronic i bought seven shares of metronic and the money that came from um Pfizer went straight to Metronics. Metronics is undervalued at the moment and it has a better growth. Um, in fact, let me double check here. Yeah, the expectation is about 11% to 12% in terms of, um, for Metronics in comparison to zero point whatever in the next five years. So that's one of the reasons. Still undervalued, undervalued great company. So right now I've spent, so we basically made sales of $1,370, okay? By the way, that was a loss. I've talked about that in, the, in that video. $1,731, basically that's what we made the sales of. And then we actually added a bit more, 2800 to okay and that added about 71 pounds or 72 pounds overall to the overall portfolio and that obviously goes in there and right now i'm expecting about 90 pounds every single month let me show you this amazing thing right so this is using simply wall um simply save dividend as you can see i'm expecting 268 dollars okay give or take because some stocks that i bought recently or shares that i bought recently might not qualify for the i might have bought it after the dividend x dividend and for that reason it might not include here but give or take even if i make 250 i think that will be the highest i've ever made in dollars but that includes okay that includes the 15 percent i have to pay for us stocks so what you see here okay is basically taken away from that so basically i've already subtracted that from the um from my portfolio so 90 dollars will be perfect but imagine 250 pound dollars like you basically a dividends based on a portfolio that is 52,000 right now so it's really good next month and not, not expecting a lot the following month not expecting a lot and then september about 300 and again remember by then i might add a few more shares so that will definitely increase um so some of the companies that are paying me that time okay that might actually increase whatever and as you can see here um the companies that are paying me the highest is for example look as well as go up so yeah 3m j and j a um, and chemicals a what is it called um, air products and chemicals home depot unilever cummins for example um, broadcom amgen all of these companies are absolutely great pay me really lovely dividends dividends the lowest i'm getting is the uh, rb and rb is only two dollars i don't trust this because the rb is a uk based company so i don't think this company knows um this website knows much about that company so probably not so yeah that's the basically the dividends that i've received this month okay buys and sells um so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna share with you okay where we are now okay so in april for the first time I've explained to you that was my first time I've got rental income from my property that I bought recently. If you haven't seen that video, go and watch that video that I talked about the, uh, the fact that I bought a one bedroom apartment or studio flight in the UK that pays me about £448.80 and every single month. Okay, so in April we had no management, we, d we didn't have any repairs or maintenance, alhamdulillah. This month is was also the same, and that month, obviously, in, a, um, in April, there was 
we got paid dividends of 61 pounds so in total i made 509 dollars passively okay i didn't have to do anything i bought the property it's sitting there the guy pays me every month i bought these dividend stocks i'm not doing anything they're paying me 500 pounds a month so if i didn't do anything else i'll get those 500 inshallah if there's no management fees inshallah that will, will happen right in may the rental income was still the same we had no repairs and maintenance thank god okay so we still got the 448 pounds now what am i doing with this money i haven't actually talked about this before but this money is going straight to interactive brokers so this is for my children's future inshallah i'm putting every penny in there for every single month as long as i live and as long as that property is still of um you know paying me this rent the reason i'm doing that is instead of the putting the money in the bank and just inflation is eating away i'm gonna put it to work and i'm buying stocks the kids actually use the companies they use companies that they like so far they have four companies in there and so far i have added the two months okay so there's a little bit over i added another hundred pounds i think recently so overall there's about thousand pounds in that account and i'm going to do the same thing for every single month so every penny that comes in from the rental property will go to interactive brokers where we have an isa account for the children and i'm going to invest in companies that have almost zero debt and Shreya compliant and inshallah will be here for the long run companies that they use and will be here for almost inshallah in their lifestyle okay so that's what's going to happen so that's the plan for that money so i'm not doing anything else with it it's going straight into that account i'm not adding to my portfolio that's it right in may the rental income plus the dividend so i got paid about seven um, fifty seven and th um, pounds so a little bit less than what i got in and april but it was good okay again about 500 pounds so inshallah we'll see what june brings it looks like it in june we will be making a lot more than that i've in fact i've got paid today let me see if the notification is available in fact i got paid today so if i try to show you click history dividends okay cummins paid me almost to 15 pounds and then ups paid me seven pounds so just today i've got paid about about 21 pounds that's going to go into next month so i will share that with you and let you know what happens but that's it so i'm going to scroll down i'm going to share the link of the portfolio okay um also by the way this company and uh, the etfs have actually paid right let me share that with you eight i've had eight dollars and whatever um eight shares and whatever there so let's go to history and as you can see, they paid two pounds and fifty-three. That money then were basically bought so some shares of the same ETF because they both have their own little pie. Okay, the pie is of basically reinvesting that dividend back into the same ETFs. Okay, so so the two fifty was split between the two ETFs. And I think the first one was one pounds and then the second one was two pounds and fifty. Okay. So that was the first one. The second one was almost the same. As you can see here, I basically got paid. Where is the dividend? Here we go. Five pounds. Okay, five pounds for owning the how many shares was it? Nineteen shares, almost twenty shares. So the nineteen shares that we own, okay, we got paid um that five pounds and forty three pence basically three pounds and 26 of that went basically straight back into the same etf and the rest of it was basically went back to the same etf so if i show you the pies for that okay as you can see here that was the cash that came in and it was reinvested straight back into the portfolio and that's where it is right now so it's ticking along really well i imagine if i had put twenty thousand pounds into just those two etfs maybe split it i don't know 20 30 whatever i've done yeah 60 40 whatever right i think it will be really good i think it will be good investment so if you sit in there thinking in the long run i don't like picking stocks okay maybe just to do these etfs again it's not a financial advice but i'm just thinking out loud right now okay if i didn't like picking stocks and i put ten thousand and ten thousand or ten thousand and seven thousand or whatever thirteen thousand seven thousand whatever you want to do yeah okay however you want to split for me i want more of the world side and the US because i own a lot of us stocks i wanted less of that okay so that's why i put more emphasis in here i put 60 percent 
Again, the dividends were really good. Okay, seven pounds for owning one thousand shares. Okay, and then price appreciation. So far, we're looking at about sixty dollars, about six percent. Six percent gains in. I can't remember when we started, but six percent gains since we started, which is probably about four months ago or something. So you wouldn't have to worry all about this volatility, blah blah blah. All these stocks don't going up and down, going bankrupt, whatever. You just have to pay. The only thing the issue is the expense ratios. The expense ratios are a little bit high for my liking. So for that reason, it's a little bit high. But again, if you're interested in that kind of thing, maybe look into those ETFs. And like I said, right now that is just basically where they are now. Yeah. So the I'll share the link anyway. Nothing has changed. Everything that I've bought and sold so far, I've told you about it. So in terms of portfolio update, there's not a lot as you can see. Actually, in fact, I want to talk about one stock. Quickly, and that is Salesforce. Salesforce had their earnings recently, okay, and they smashed it. And I was down, I think, almost to 400 to 500. Yesterday, I think, it, I was only down about two percent. I think it was about 50 pounds, basically whatever, for the 15 shares that I own. So it bounced back very, very quickly and very nicely. So if it goes about three percent up today, then I will be in the net positive for the first time. The next company I want to talk about is Cummins, for example. I've been in the negative forever. So there you go. That's what happens if you are patient enough with these companies. Okay, I've been patient. I don't genuinely. I've been buying more and more every single week. It's still still undervalued. Okay, I put in two thousand five hundred, and it still feels undervalued. The company. I might add to it in the next few weeks if there is nothing else that I can add to my portfolio. Again, another one that was basically in the red was air products and chemicals is up again. Look, Adobe actually, what it's done is in the last couple of days, it actually tacked along with Salesforce. So Salesforce went up 7%, Adobe went up about 2, 3%, 4%. And as you can see, I'm only down 4% now, about 5%. Okay, so it is, it is possible the stocks will come back up again and then they will go down again. So you just have, have to be patient, have your watch list or whatever you want to buy. And just keep consistently buying quality companies. That's all you need to do. Genuinely, there's nothing else that you can do to actually right right now. Okay, I you know I own some very very quality companies. Alhamdulillah, in my portfolio, and I think in the long run it will pay off. I'm not really looking at this. Some of the companies that I've been selling out of, there's a reason why I'm selling. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna one of the brothers have actually asked me if I can look into when to sell a stock okay and i'm gonna do that because i have actually sold out of you companies before so i'm just gonna based on the research based on the you know the research that i find i'm gonna share that with you i'll let you know and now i'll let you know the reasons why i've actually sold the companies that i've sold in the last few months i hope you enjoy this kind of content and i hope you love the transparency and the, you know i've shown you everything that i own okay in my portfolio so far i hope you enjoy that have a wonderful day assalamualaikum